All right. Well, today I wanted to talk about a girl who lost attraction to me because I gained a lot of weight. In the summer going into 12th grade, I had a close friend who threw a 4th of July get-together, if you could call it that. I was sitting next to a fairly attractive girl who was like two grades younger than me. I would say she was about a six or a seven. Um, She was blonde. She had blue eyes, had kind of like a hipster look. So she had a few piercings, one in her nose and a few in each ear. Overall, very cute girl. And she was about five, seven for context. Uh, Very thin. When the card game we were playing in the basement ended, um, we were like sitting on the same couch and we just started talking and we kind of hit it off right away. I can't remember I can't really remember what we talked about because it was like so long ago, but there was just instant attraction. Um, we were talking very closely, making very close eye contact, um, just kind of like laughing and joking about what he, each other were saying. Uh, some people were going upstairs and we decided to walk upstairs and then go outside to get some fresh air to talk more, to just get more privacy. So we walked down the street talking about our high school, talked about like people we knew, talked about some teachers and the people we also knew at the party. And we ended up walking back to my friend's driveway. And then we stopped at the end of the driveway and we just kind of looked in each other's eyes and we started to kiss. And we probably made out for at least 10 minutes or so. And I remember the like genuine attraction that we both felt. And then after this, we went back inside and we hung out on a couch that was in my friend's like living room. And we pretty much just cuddled there all night until we both passed out as it was pretty late at this point. I think it was probably around like two or 3 a.m. And I remember that we woke up in the morning and we continued to cuddle until everyone else woke up. And then after that night, um, we continued to text, but I had gone on like a family vacation shortly after So it kind of fizzled out. And then once school started up, you know, she would always, um, when she saw me in the hallway, she'd always give me a big hug. And, but we never dated seriously back then. Like I said, I was in 12th grade. She was in 10th grade. And we would also message each other. We would also message each other on Facebook, like sporadically that year, kind of periodically. And we were just genuinely excited to see each other and talk back then. And I remember one instance in particular feeling really depressed during my senior year. And I think I put up like a somewhat depressing status. And I remember her messaging me saying that, but, you know, she would be there for me. And, you know, and it was kind of interesting. But for the next few weeks, she texted me like every day asking how I was doing. And at the time I was, you know, the same height I am now, six, two and a half barefoot and around 160 pounds at that time. So I was definitely on the skinnier side, as you could see. Um, And I would say probably slightly above average looking, as you could see. I also had pretty long hair as well at this time. I always kind of had that like (laughs) Justin Bieber type hairstyle where it was kind of combed across my forehead. So fast forward uh, about a couple summers later, as many of you know, I put on a significant amount of weight. And at this time, my hair started receding pretty badly. Um, I ended up seeing this same girl at a local fair in my hometown when I came home in the summer. So I was there with a good friend of mine and I remember seeing her, she was with a few of her friends and the friend that I was with also knew her and the friends she was with and we walked over to them. And like I said, previously, whenever I saw her in the hallways or, you know, before I went off to college, you know, she would always like run up to me, say hi, uh, be very warm, give me like a long, long hug. And it was interesting when I, I, when I walked up to say hi, she looked out with me, she looked at me with this like blank stare and didn't recognize me in the slightest. And I was like, Hey, how you doing? And then she was like, Oh, Hey, I didn't recognize you. Like she, she genuinely didn't recognize me. And, and to be honest, I, I look like a completely different person from how I looked uh, like back in, you know, back in high school, back my senior year. Uh, before she had looked at me with like a genuine level of interest in her eyes. Uh, when she saw me now as like a very overweight and, you know, balding guy, that interest went to zero. Like it literally went to zero. And looking in her eyes before, you know, I could see that like genuine burning desire as uh, Mr. Mr. Cooper calls it. But now it was like she had those dead eyes. Um, this is one way to know if a girl is attracted to you. 
you know, if her pupils dilate and there's like a genuine excited look on her face, she's into you. And, and with her that with her here, there was absolutely nothing. And like looking back, I guess what could I expect? You know, um, in those three years, I was about a hundred pounds heavier than when I was years ago, and I had much less hair um, because I had started balding a couple of years you know, prior to this. So honestly, looked about ten to fifteen years older, as you can see, than I looked before. And I remember distinctly that, you know, shortly after she stopped talking to me, um, when we were just kind of, you know, going through the pleasantries, it was just kind of crazy. But no, I was asking her like, you know, where she went to college and how she liked it as she was, you know, she just finished her freshman year of college. I just finished my third year. And I just remember getting very like dull one word answers. It was like, it was, it was almost like, she was like very annoyed that I was even talking to her. It was just really kind of crazy, to be honest. It was like I went from like a hero, um, attraction-wise, to zero in her eyes in in the span of three years. And my personality was exactly the same. Like I really hadn't changed much in that regard um, during my first few years of college. And I remember, you know, she she brought her friend into the conversation and then she started focusing more on her friend. And it wasn't like she wasn't in a relationship at the time either. She was still single. She just saw how I looked with the weight gain and like the comb over haircut that was attempting to hide my, you know, massively receding hairline at this point. And she just had zero interest at that at this point, to be honest, to keep it a buck. And it's crazy how much gaining a ton of weight and losing your hairline can do to your attractiveness as I was about a Norwood three Norwood four at this point during this summer. And, you know, you could be the same exact person uh, you were before, but if your looks get worse, especially if you gain a ton of weight, that same woman that was head over heels, heels for you suddenly can lose all attraction for you in a split second. And you become like furniture to her. And the reason for that is because, you know, when you gain a lot of weight, it does look very unhealthy and it signals bad genetics and that you're not taking care of yourself. And a lot of the weight, you know, went right below my chin, as you can see, and also in my cheeks. So it really made me look like super bloated and about 10 years older than I was. And then if you couple that with like the receding hairline and, you know, growing out comb over to cover it. Uh, This also made me appear, you know, much, much older and less healthy overall. And this was definitely like an eye-opening experience for me. and was one of the experiences that I think really, really propelled me to start looks maxing and losing a ton of weight and then restoring my hair. Well, if you've enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a like. Feel free to comment down below any similar experience you've had and feel free to subscribe. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, take care.